No, 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 no. Not like this. Ah! We're alive now. Hey, we're, guys. We're live? We're live again. Hey, we're guys. We're back? Yeah, guys. Hey, Tell guys. Tell people in chat to refresh that page just in case. Yeah, make sure to refresh your page. I, I, I think I hear you, helper. They yeah, I know. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. I'm panicking. No, it's all good. Don't panic. <laughs> you know, it's all chill here, man. Welcome to Xeno, guys. Xeno 162. We're sitting here in winner's finals. We've got Utopian Ray playing as Mr. Joker here. And Venya playing as Greninja. Now, this is a... Honestly, if you told me this was going to be winner's finals, I'd be like, what? It's kind of a bizarre winner's finals when you think about it. Utopian Ray playing as Joker, fighting off against Venya, who's rocking... I mean, obviously, he's the Greninja main. But uh, just not in winner's finals. I don't see these two play too terribly often, but... Ray sees some. Oh my god, he actually caught him with it, and unfortunately for him, I talked to a lot of Joker mains. Like, uh, I talked to Vivi about this actually. Where if you try to go for the grappling hook from below the stage, there's a chance it just won't randomly connect. And that was a time when Ray should have made it back to the stage, but just it didn't work in his favor. That's the risk you go for trying to use the grappling hook from underneath. And it would have paid him dividends, right? He got the back air against Venny and put him in a ver very bad spot, but just died in the process. Now he's playing down, like. It feels like he's missing an arm or something, man. He's already lost the stock this early. So here we go. Arsene is already out. I mean, he's taking a lot of damage in the process. Venya just getting tons of combos right out of the gate. Nair to Nair. Dash attack the forward air, and that actually got the kill. Deletes Arsene completely. Last stock for Ray. What is going on? Okay. There we go. Gonna go for the down beat and just push him off of you. Arsene's back, baby. Neutral air is going to send him flying. Some parries. Neutral air to catch the down air. Now this is this is Ray's time to shine. I feel like Joker really excels, especially with when Ray is behind the wheel. Really excels at trying to get that ledge trap pressure against his opponent. Gets tons of damage off there. And trying to lead, potentially lead into that kill. A little bit too uh, overzealous with that uh, Tetra car. Now he's off stage. Venio trying to surf for that. Back air, but the grappling hook doesn't connect. From below the stage, yet again. That was his fault, though. You saw him go for the air dodge. Ray, probably not too pleased. Yeah, like right there, he, he air dodged. He thought he was close enough to the ledge to be able to try to air dodge into the said ledge. To get back onto the stage, unfortunately whiffed, so he just tried for a last ditch effort grappling hook, but that joint wasn't going to connect. Yeah, grappling hook has a very, very specific range. And if you're not within it, like, it just doesn't work. So let's jump into game number two, Pokemon Stadium 2. Just taking it right back, same song and everything. Ray sticking to his guns, quite literally, with Joker. Okay, oh, for a second, I thought he was going to fall to his death. Okay, got some live dash attacks. Venia is mixing the crap. What the? F okay. I thought that was going to continue for a second. You saw him get the jab lock, too, on top of that. Was trying to get the, go for the reset. Okay, let's see if Ray can try to get something cooking here. Looking for the down air. Down throw instead. Baits out the air dodge. Tries to get the back air. Got low recovery coming out from Ray. But gets back to the stage safe and sound. There we go. Dash attack again. Pops him up into the air. I mean, Venia honestly likes going for uh, dash attack or down tilt as a grounded approach whenever he's trying to like start up a combo. 125% on Ray. And looking for this opening again. They're both playing pretty conservative at this point. But using, using the platforms, tried to get the parry on that forward air, was too late, and eats a stock for it. Venia, up one stock. You got some more forward tilts coming out. Good punish with the dash attack. Familia just going for the uh, jump out of shield as an escape option. I think he goes for like the downward shootings of those guns. It really does a good job of trying to cover his landings a bit because it has hit stun on those bullets. So Ken, it's not, it's not about the damage, it's just about applying hit stun to just mess up and to just allow him to land down to the stage. He's trying to go for the parry on the final swing. There's a lot of times I'm feeling Ray is just whipping these parries. I know he's trying to go for it because he's just letting go shield too early every single time. Throwing out the Aegon, forcing Venya to recover low. Once the back air was hoping he's going to jump out of shield as well. Back air also the platform. This is the time to get the kill. He got him off. Arsene's about to wear off. Oh, he tried to go for the up smash. Instead, gets snared up smashed himself. Arsene is out of there. Goodbye bye. Dash attack. Looking for this back here off the platform. And now he is struggle busting. Venya has so much control right now with his Greninja. Ray is struggling to find these answers. 
Off stage, neutral air. Arsene's back yet again. Already 49 damage on his final stock. Things are looking bleak. Even if Ray takes his stock right now, it, it's still going to be in Benny's favor. It doesn't matter that he got that down here. We got the Taunt coming out too. Try to give him a little bit of morale boost. Morgana coming out to say, hey, don't give up, Joker. Remember, the, against the odds, man, we choose the fight. Grab. Hold on a sec. Gets the near off stage. He's schmoving. It is double jump. Hold on a sec. Off stage. Arsene's gone. He's still out of jumps. And he is abusing that, forcing out the air dodge. Just don't connect a hot again and again. That's going to be tons of poison damage right afterwards. Applying those dots. My man is an enfeebler. He's back. It's caught by the Nair. Oh, no. That might have been the momentum shift that Venia needs. Just closes out real quick. Off stage gets... Oh, my good lord. I cannot believe that worked. He, he just... He dragged him ever so slightly. The smallest little baby hit right here. Jumps off there and just like hits. It doesn't even get like the. Honestly, Venny was looking for the final swing of his bear so he could actually get the kill. But he just hit him with the first swing of it. So he just kind of like applies some hits to him, puts him in an awful, awful position, and then he can't recover from that. That's an example where if you do have Arsene, you could attempt him to come back. But because he had Grappling Hook. No dice. So that's going to be Venia moving on to Grand Finals after not being at Xeno for a while. You know, putting on a putting on a show. You know, people were talking about how Nick C is coming back from a two-month hiatus of Smash. And he was going to be the one in Grand Finals. But he's currently sitting in loser's bracket or he's out of the tournament. I don't remember which. Nick C is actually fighting Frozen right now. He's fighting Winner Frozen. Winner of that will fight Ling Ling. For top eight. Yes. Frozen is fighting Nick C. Nick Cucaraco. Loser of that gets ninth. Kakariko. So we're still in losers. Uh, so I guess we're just going to stream some. Uh, we're just waiting for the next set because we got Raptor fighting till day off stream. We got Frozen fighting Nixie off stream. So the next set will either be whichever one finishes first. Jen versus the winner of Raptor till day. Or Ling Ling versus the winner of uh, Frozen or Nixie. Winner of that goes on to fight Mr. E. Chances are it's going to be Frozen and Nick, uh, the winner of Frozen and Nixie because they've been playing for about 15 minutes already. And okay. Raptor till they just started. Must be close. So, you know. Guys, why don't I have here? I got a story for you. That story, well, once upon a time, there was a tournament <laughs> series called Xeno. We used to be called Nebs. Remember that? Remember that, Helper? Yeah. Remember Nebulous? I do remember Remember Nebulous. that tournament? That was weird. Yeah, weird times, bro. Weird times. I miss it, dude. Never forget the Valentine's Day Bayonetta uh, when we had Anti come out <sighs> fighting against Ninja Link. Ninja Link almost won the tournament, but then he up smashed four times in a row and he got the kill. We had 3,000 viewers and we're like, yeah, we're getting a lot of momentum from this. And they kicked us out. Yeah, back Good when Bayo oh, yeah, was actually out, broken. Back yeah. when Bayo was like that super, was day super two. duper extremely broken. But that was also day two, Bayo, so no one knew. So people got hyped that Bayo. He figured out won. he figured out his up B combos pretty quickly, dude. Yeah. That was like the big thing that he needed was, oh, I can up B combos and I have a dive kick that's safe on shield. That kills. But the thing is, guys, that's all in the past. We're <laughs> Xeno now. 162 to be exact. We had 162 of these suckers. Um, we got the venue fee, $8, singles fee, $7. You will not find a price that is even close to matching that in New York City, I swear to you. Yeah, everybody has 10 venue. And, like and it makes perfect sense. It's New York City. It's really expensive to own a plot of land in Manhattan. <laughs> I understand. It's very generous of the landlords here to go for eight. Yeah, uh, man, he's going for five, too, at the old place, too. So that was, that was insane. Five yeah. and five. Like, regardless, it happens every Wednesday. You pay 15 bucks. This is doubles $5, but we don't do doubles here anymore, guys. We do duck game, which we didn't do. We didn't today. do it today because everything was literally everything that could have gone wrong yeah. did go wrong. So we didn't bro. run duck game. So uh, it was so unfortunate. My apologies to Adult Swim games. Yeah, you. The, the main event. We can still run it right now while we wait for these uh, matches to happen. You know? <laughs> Ho3K. Duck game is a very fast game. Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. You already know. Hit those follow buttons. YouTube has instant uploads. I will say, by the way, Duck Game is extremely fun. I am really enjoying it, and I've been looking in some tech, into some tech. Into some tech. Yeah, like you can actually like there's stuff like you can save your your angle shot. Yeah. When you do when you do uh, when you're flapping your wings, so you can just drop a weapon, you pick it up, and it saves the angle that it's at. So it can be any angle. There used to be a competitive scene for this. I don't know if it's still active. Maybe it got resurgence because of the switch. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. At least I haven't seen anything. There was a. I was actually doing research on it. There was an online tournament series. Uh, called Feathers Will Fly from back in 2017 like, or That's something like cool. that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, right? And they had like online tournament scene uh, where they had they, they made their own stages because like, you make custom stages in that game. There was like a predetermined custom stage list. Yeah. I was like, wow, how did this community come together for that? Because there's no way Smash would be able to do that. 
no, there's no way Smash would be able to agree on a custom stage list, you know? The only issue with Smash is that, um... I love Smash. I love Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. It's one of my favorite Smash games ever. In order of my favorite Smash games ever, by the way, I got Ultimate, then Brawl, then Melee, then Smash 4, then 64. That's right. Oh, we got Ling Ling versus Frozen rolling on up. So Frozen taking out Nick C, and Nick C getting ninth, which is funny because he was seated 10th. <laughs> well, yeah, so like, eerily accurate seating. Yeah, that, that was Spooksville. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nick C was talking about how he was probably going to get ninth too, and like. He, he didn't knock on wood, I guess. 